Hey, what's up everybody? DJ LaFave here. I'm going to have a quick video showing you how you can record your DJ sets using Virtual DJ and then a second way that you can do it using a separate program called Audacity. Uh, both have their pluses and minuses and let's just dive right into it. So the first method is recording inside of Virtual DJ. They make it very, very, very simple for you. Uh, basically, all you have to do is go to your top right into your cog wheel. Cog wheel, right? Let's go to our settings. There is the record option down here. So this will show you some very basic examples, but what I want you to do is I want you to go to options and click record. This gives you your full set of options uh, working with recording inside a virtual DJ. So you could se select where you want to record the file to. So you, we're just going to do record example. And then you could select the file format. So right here, the different ones you can do, they're, they're, they're shown right there at the bottom. You can do um, MP3, OGG, FLAC, Wave, WebM, or MP4. MP4 and WebM, of course, are video formats. We're only going to focus on audio for this particular lesson. You can make the quality high, medium, or low, depending on your system specifics, what it could handle. Uh, record auto start. It will automatically start as soon as you press play on a deck, or you can wait for sound. I like this wait for sound option, meaning that you could press the record button, and then it will not start recording until it hears its first sound. Very nice. You could change how the file is overwritten. You can do an auto split. Uh, write a Q file. Q files are really cool if you were going to be uploading your mix to something like Mixcloud. Mixcloud accepts a Q file, and basically it will list out the playlist in perfect order, which totally maps up your SEO, your search engine optimization, for the mixes that you're going to upload into Mixcloud for everyone to see. Then you've got a couple of different video options, and then record microphone if you have one connected in there. Record bit depth, 16-bit or 24-bit, and if you're going to do video, you can do 30, 60 frames per second, 30.1, whatever you want to put in here, you can put in there, and it's, it's easy to go. So that's all we're going to do for our options. We have it all set up to do an MP3 recording at high and wait for sound. So back to the main screen right here, we're going to go to the master tab. The master tab in the pro skin is right there. And all we're going to do is press record. And now it's going to say waiting for sound to begin recording. All right. And then all we do now is just play a sound. And you'll notice right here, you, you actually get the time of your file and the size of your file when you're done recording just hit record again and uh, your recording has stopped that's it now if you want to find that file just click on file and i believe you just click here for recorded file and show and explore and then the window is going to pop up with the actual file that you just recorded it's going to be highlighted right there record example one and you got yourself an mp3 Easy peasy lemon breezy. So that's all, all good and fun, right? But let's say you wanted to record outside a virtual DJ. Let's say that you wanted to have your information already ready to go in some sort of uh, post-processing DAW, right? Uh, here we go. So there's this program called Audacity. It's free. They apparently have it on Windows and Mac, and you can't be doing virtual DJ on Linux. I don't think. So just pick whichever one you want for download Windows, download for Mac, and install it. The second thing you're going to need is also free. You're going to want to be able to get your audio from Virtual DJ to this external program. Well, VB-Audio software has you covered, and you could download just one VB cable driver right now. It could be this one for Windows or this one for Mac. This is just a VB cable. It's one. It's all you need. All you need. All right? It's just one. So download and install those items. Now, when we come back into Virtual DJ... The only change you're going to have to do right here on your audio, let's just go to the audio tab, is we're going to add an additional line out for master. So master, we are going to select our VB audio cable. So I have obviously a ton of them because I do a whole bunch of stuff with these. So I'm just going to select the, the one that I know I, I like to use, VB audio cable A. Now, you could do any any other one of those. It, it's, it's all up to you. We hit apply. We notice that our... Uh, uh, sample rate is the same for all these. These are good. So what this is going to do is it's going to send it out to our, our main mixer, our speakers, our headphones, and then we're also going to have another line out to the virtual audio cable, VB audio cable A. And we click apply, and then that's it. You can close this out. So now you're going to open up Audacity. Inside of Audacity, the new fresh look Audacity, you're going to see up here this tab, it says audio setup. Well, on here, we can do recording device, and you select the same one that you just selected inside of Virtual DJ. 
cable A output, right like that. Okay, so now let's add a track. So you don't necessarily have to do this, but we're going to do this anyway. We're going to add new. We're going to add a stereo track, and now it's all set to go. So I'm gonna I'm gonna shrink this one over to the left so you can see how this works, and we're gonna shrink it over to the right for for virtual DJ just uh, so we can get get both in the same screen at the same time. So you're gonna want to hit record on Audacity first and then hit play. When you're all over, it's very easy, and I'm gonna show you while we're here how to how to uh, cut and edit to get rid of that silent portion. So we're gonna hit record and now play. Yeah, buddy. That's what's up. So now you're going to get your recording over into Audacity. So I'm going to stop it here. You stop it by hitting the record button. We're going to stop it here. You stop it by hitting the record. You hit it. You hit stop. You hit stop. Stop stops it from recording. <laughs> All right. So inside of Audacity, I promised I was going to show you how to get rid of those silences, right? How to get rid of those silences. Just take this, drag it on over to the beginning. And now when you're up in here, all you have to do is just le left click your mouse, drag that like that. And then there is a pair of scissors up here. Where'd they go? Where's my scissors? My scissors, are they, are they, they, they used to be right up in here. They, they changed their, their setups in here a little bit. So they, they, they've, um, it looks like they have updated their, where, where'd they go? Tools? Where, where's the, where's the scissors? Maybe, maybe you can just hit delete. <laughs> we'll just hit delete. Yep, there you go. Just hit delete on your keyboard. There used to be a little button up here for scissors. They, they, they were recently purchased by a company and they've been making some changes. So then we just hit delete and now you have just your audio right here. Now, one of the perks of using Audacity is you can actually do some post-processing on certain sections. So I'm not gonna get into exactly how to do it because it's obviously changed so much that I don't even know how to do things in here anymore, but you could do effects, uh, you can do fading so we're gonna you could you could do a fade in fade out so you see how that you, you can apply different post processing effects to say something screwed up during your mix you, you learn how to use audacity it's a cool program you know highly recommend it now to once you're, you're happy with your file and everything is all all put together you go file export export is mp3 wave ogg audio selected audio whatever we'll just do mp3 and on here we got an audacity thing going on and we're gonna say uh, sample and then this window pops up where you can add all the tags. You can add artist name, track title, album title, track number, year, genre. You guys can read. You got it. I'm just going to say uh, one, 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 one. You can even leave them blank if you wanted to. And then we say, okay. And then now it's it's done. It's processed. It's exported. So that's two different ways that you can record your DJ mixes um, using uh, virtual DJ or using audacity. I hope you guys found this information helpful. If you guys want to like, like it. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. If you want to sponsor, sponsor. If you want to comment, you know what to do. But anyway, just keep on coming back. Keep hanging out. Keep asking these great hard hitting questions. I'm LaFave. I'll see you guys on my next live stream. Make sure you eat, sleep, LaFave, repeat out.